welcome to my channel. If you are new on my channel and you like what you see, hit the like and subscribe button. Love what you see. Tap the bell for automatic notifications on new video posts. I took the liberty to link the products I used in the tutorial and list them in the description box with the links to some cheap vendors that sell the products on Amazon. Be sure to check those out for your added convenience. This is I am Vanessa McClam. In honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, I present to you Pink and Purple Haze. So let's get started. I am using Max News Flash as a transitioning color. If you haven't noticed, I've already completed my eyebrows. So um, if you guys want to check out how I do the perfect eyebrows using an eyebrow pencil, I'll link the video below. And you guys don't mind my headscarf. I'm stretching my hair out and I'm trying to control my frizzies. So... <laughs> I'm taking my Pro Palette and I'm adding Saucy Miss, this pink color, to my lower lid under the transitioning color. Now, I love this pink. I never thought I'd say that because I always thought pink was so girly, but yes, go pink. Now I'm using a shimmery purple from one of my old, old palettes. I bought this uh, from a hair show in Atlanta so long ago. Sorry dolls, I don't know the name of it. I can't even find the brand name on the, um, on the shadow, so I apologize. Um, but it's not coating very well, so I'm actually going to try another purple. That's the problem sometimes with the cheaper eye palettes. Sometimes it doesn't have enough pigment. So I'm going in now with my MAC Rich Purple. It's a loose powder, and I'm gonna add that to my lower lid. And I actually didn't think it was gonna come out this dark. It's actually really pigmented. Um, this is my first time working with a loose powder. So I'm going to now go in with the other non-name non brand palette and use the lighter purple to brighten it up a bit, so. Okay, so now I'm taking my bl my brush and I'm about to blend in these colors to make them flow effortlessly. The point is um, you don't want to have a line of separation with the type of eyeshadow look that I'm going for. I don't want to have any harsh lines or any harsh color separation, so I'm going to blend that in really well. Okay, so check out my eyes now. 
I am about to get my concealer to clean up because I hate when my eyeshadow blends too close to my brows. So I'm taking my NC45 and my concealer brush and I am lightly adding just a little bit of concealer under my eyebrow to kind of separate the eyeshadow uh, from my brow. I got it a little bit too close. Now I'm going to blend in the concealer with my brush just to kind of um, make a smoother transition from the lower brow to the purple uh, the pink eyeshadow so now I'm going to add um, a bronze golden bronze color to the inner corner of my eye and this just pretty much finishes off the look And it takes a lot um, for this color to kind of show through. So if you guys have a different palette that you're using, then you know you may not need so many coats like I'm using. Now I'm about to add my Studio Sculpt Foundation. This foundation is by MAC. I love this stuff. Creamy foundations are my favorite. <laughs> it has a super thick consistency, but it's creamy and it doesn't feel too cakey. So um, with this product, a little bit definitely goes a long way. <laughs> it's a lot different from um, the liquid foundations. Um, I've tried a liquid before and I don't really... Uh, care for the liquids because it just feels like um, you're just I don't know it's too watery and um, it's hard to control how much you're putting on but with the creamy foundation I find that you know it stays on a little better and it feels out your skin to me it feels a lot better and it feels it out pretty good so I feel like I get a more even look when I have that uh, creamy foundation. And it actually goes on pretty smooth with the brush. So I like it. Yes, honey. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Like, comment, and if you're new to my channel, click the subscribe button. You guys stay tuned for part three to see a super, super simple way to contour your face. Slight work, you guys. Want to see what's going on in my world on a daily basis? Follow me on Instagram at I am Vanessa McClam. No spaces, all one word. To get a glimpse of my life outside of YouTube and for more hair and beauty ideas. For business related inquiries, you can email me at I am Vanessa McClam at gmail.com. I'm always looking for new products to review and small businesses to expose. Have an awesome day and thanks again for tuning in.